Hi, welcome to Online Lesson Videos. I'm Steve Johnston. Uh, today's lesson is a solo that uh, is over the song Make Me a Palette on the Floor or, you know, any song that would have a similar progression to it. And uh, the way that these are done is, you know, I, I play the, the song and I will go and lay down about two or three solos over this song. And when I find one that I think is good or representative, then I'll go back, tab it out, and break it down in a lesson. So what you're hearing is a solo that was played at the time, you know, what you would call, you know, off the top of your head or whatever. I mean, it's actually you know, a lot of different scales and licks that you've practiced many times before. Uh, and then, you know, when once you get a certain amount of that stuff, when you play a solo, that stuff just kind of comes out and you're playing. So what you're hearing is pretty representative of what I would play, you know, in a solo in a, at a jam or a gig or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and start right at the top. Now, this song uh, is in the key of C. Uh, the chords are C, F, and G by and large, the, the chords that are in the, the main chords in the key of C. Uh, this song starts on the F chord, which is the four chord in the key of C, and then it goes back to C for two measures, then it goes back to F for measures five and six, then back to C. Uh, if you're not familiar with this song, you know, you can listen to it. I've got a couple of... Uh, of uh, arrangements of the, just the melody of this song on other lessons too, if you're not familiar with the song. Anyway, um, the one thing to remember on things like this, the song is in the key of C, and there's a scale that, you know, fits over C, major scale. There's a pentatonic scale. There's kind of a, uh, that's the pentatonic scale. There's a more of a bluesy pentatonic. Okay. When the chord changes to F or G, you can still most of the time continue playing in C scale things. And this will work because a lot of the same notes are in all three chords. Um, C, F, and G have a lot of the same notes in them. So if just because the song goes to F doesn't mean you have to switch to an F scale and then back to C scale and back to F scale. You can pretty much continue playing your ideas and lines in the key of C and they'll work even though the chords are changing around you. So that's something that makes it a little less intimidating. You know, if you, you learn a, a few licks like this, you know, take these licks, memorize them, learn them, uh, and you can use them on any song. They'll work on anything. Measure one is uh, basically uh, starting open on the G string, first fret, same string, and then second fret, and then going over to second string, first fret, which is a C note. This lick is really just the top part of this lick, which is a bigger, you know, larger scale, but you're just using a part of it. And then the last part of measure one is third finger on the third fret, back to first fret on the uh, second string. Here's measure one. Here's measure two. So here's the first two bars. All based around the same C scale. Uh, measure two, this is kind of a C minor scale note. Going on to measure three, here's another.